Well, hello everyone and welcome to the garden. I was outside planting some beans today and I thought I'd answer a question that had been coming up quite a bit that I thought was more of a, um, one of those more deep thinking questions. Um, and people have been asking me, why do we bury seed? And, um, you know, because when you, when you see things in nature, when fruit falls to the ground, it doesn't get buried. And uh, so why do we bury seed? And so I had a couple reasons to why we buried seed as I'm burying my bean seeds right now. Um, the reason why we bury seed is for a lot of reasons. The number one is it increases the, the chance of germination because um, part of the reason why fruit trees or nut trees or anything, um, any type of plant that bears fruit, they will bear a lot of seed. And when I mean a lot, I mean more than you could probably count uh, in a year. So, I mean, you, you have a ton of seed on one large established tree. Um, but if you even look at uh, tomatoes, you have t a single tomato, a single tomato can give up to 150 seeds, maybe even more. And, uh, and you have probably maybe 50, 60 tomatoes on that one plant. So um, the reason they put out so many seeds is because nature knows that it's not going to get 100% germination. And nature knows that there are predators of those seeds. They like to eat them. And so part of the reason why we bury them is because of the fact that we are planting an individual seed and we want that individual seed to sprout. It's not like Mother Nature that drops a hundred seeds or hundreds of thousands of seeds and um, expects maybe one or two to survive. We want that one seed that we're planting to survive. So it's not really a Hail Mary toss, um, you know, cross your fingers, hope something sprouts, um, which is what more or less what nature does. Um, so what another reason is, is why we covered up is because seeds like the dark, uh, the darkness. And for unknown reasons, they actually sprout better when they're in dark conditions. A lot of times when you go to start seeds, they tell you, um, you know, cover them with something, put them underneath your bed for a couple days until you start to see sprouts. And the reason being is because seeds generally will sprout better in the dark. I have no clue why. But again, that's another reason why we bury them because if they're in the sunlight, you have poor germination. Another reason why we bury our seeds is for insulation. A lot of times we, we plant our seed when it's close to frost period. We wanna get an early start. So we'll start our seeds when there is still that risk of, of freezing or frost. And so the soil acts as an insulator to prevent the seed from actually being frozen and therefore killing it off. And the last reason why we start our, uh, why we start our seeds underground, why we bury our seeds, is because the soil also acts as an insulator when it comes to moisture. If you have a seed sitting right on the top of the soil, the top of the soil is the thing that dries out the fastest. So when you have a seed that's buried, there is a period of, of damp soil, there is a section of damp soil that will remain damp for up to a couple days after a rain or after a watering. And that's simply because the sun and the wind can't evaporate that far down yet. And so, it gives the, t uh, the seed a time to absorb that water and that moisture in the soil, so you generally have better germination rates. But you know, it is funny though that we, that we found out that um, planting the seed in the ground works better. Um, and there are, lots of, there are lots of different vegetables that actually sprout better in the sunlight. But when you look at the wide majority of seeds, we always start them in the ground. And it, it was just an interesting question that I thought I would um, inform you all on. I did just a few hours of research. I'm just kidding. It's just something that's more um, conceptual. If you think about it, it just makes sense. Um, but it's one of those things that it makes sense even though nature doesn't do it. So it's, it's strange how it works like that. But um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that quick little snippet of information. I'm gonna continue plant planting these bean seeds, burying them in the ground, I mean. And, um, and so, yeah, as always, this is Emma Garner reminding you to grow big or go home. And I'll talk to you all later. See you next episode. Bye, guys.